when you have followed my channel, you will surely know that I was busy with this very simple oscilloscope project. And um, at the moment, I have, say, in a certain way, made all the uh, separate units that have to do the job. Uh, this will be the amplifier, the vertical amplifier, but I also tested this as a horizontal amplifier. Anyway, it's made with a ECC83 tube and I will give the link in the description of this video to, to say the, the more or less uh, bare uh, explanation about how this works. Anyway, I'm talking in that uh, video about say the cathode resistor, the negative grid voltage, etc. etc. Well, uh, my idea was, of course, to make a transistor high voltage amplifier. Um, in general, when you go to Temu or you go to AliExpress, you can find um, generators, sine wave, square wave, triangle wave, but their output is often, say, in the order of maximum 1 volt AC or 0 0.8 volt AC. So uh, that's also what I have everywhere in um, in my shack, my here for instance. Uh, this for instance, well this is an audio amplifier but anyway, this is say a sine wave generator that I made in the past. The maximum output voltage AC or on, on all frequencies is approximately 20 volts and that is in fact very very high. So in general like I say uh, circuits from AliExpress or Temu or whatever have an output voltage in the order of maximum 1 volt. And that's all, say, related to the old school audio tech, where, say, uh, a completely, say, uh, driving out of an audio amplifier could be realized via a voltage in the order of 0 0.8 volt, thus 800 millivolts. Anyway, uh, well. That's also the idea here. I have used here my generator for sine waves. Uh, very old, by the way, but it works nice. And I want to demonstrate more. I'm now going to amplify a sine wave here with the circuit that I have made. And this is that voltage amplifier. So, um, anyway, let's go to the schematic. That's very, very important. So, here is the schematic. I hope it's visible from this distance. So, what can we see here? Well, first is of course the tripler unit. Here we have say the standard tripler unit where you can say derive out of 30 volts AC, be it 50 hertz or 60 hertz, you can derive a voltage in the order of three times that voltage that is in this case approximately 120 volts DC by the tripler. So this is the tripler. And it's Christmas. Wish you a happy Christmas. Uh, here we have say the amplifier. In fact 
it's a more or less classical audio amplifier, but it's made for amplifying voltages. So, um, not current, so we don't have to send in here into a loudspeaker a big current, we only have to send out voltages. And um, because this is say a complementary end stage, uh, we have here say the maximum voltage that we can reach with this setup, with a positive here and a negative here, um, is in the order of half the 120 volts, that is 60 volts. But I found quite strange, but anyway there are of course uh, good explanations for that. The output voltage is in the order, can be in the order of 50, uh, 75 volts up to 80 volts. Again the schematic. In fact it's very very simple. I've used here a NPN transistor, here a PMP transistor, that's logical. Um, this is the PMP transistor that I've used. When you want to make such a circuit, the amplification, the current amplification must be high. And when we are talking about typical high voltage transistors, say that have to work in the order of 300 volts, when you measure them on a standard uh, transistor tester, you see an amplification factor in the order of 1 up to 10. Uh, but the reason is that in general such a simple transistor tester is not made to test high voltage transistors on their uh, good uh, properties. And when I say good I mean the properties that they were made for. So um, anyway, using a standard transistor tester it gives you a very good idea about the amplification factor of a high voltage transistor. And in this case I've used this one, the PMP silicon amplification factor 150 and the NPN say it brother or sister uh, BF869 made by Philips in the very very past 1980s um, also with that beautiful current amplification 150 the BD 139s that I've used in the circuit here all have an amplification factor in the order of 150 I bought them via Ali. Uh, that current amplification factor for this transistor BD139 is quite high. Say the old school types of this transistor had not so high, not such a high current amplification. Anyway, uh, you can use instead of this high voltage transistor NPN, so say the brother or the sister of the MGE350 and that is the MGE340. So what's more to tell? I don't know. Uh, this perhaps seems very very unlogical. Uh, we have here a voltage divider. My first idea was uh, for experimental purposes to say uh, divide the maximum output voltage here and that's also a way to say in a safe way add voltages to a circuit and you can see that the safe way uh, here I've added a 1k resistor parallels so that the final output voltage here to the circuit was in the order of 120 volts. So finally look at the schematic again the circuit how it was made here is that 
1000 microfarad capacitor you will always see that when you use a capacitor that has a high value here the uh, and in also in other cases the voltage is much more say smoothened out and uh, can get higher somewhat higher say in a small order but anyway so let's look at the properties uh, this is at the moment the output I'm amplifying a one volt here a one volt sine wave out of this generator it's now in the order of See here. Uh, 200 hertz. Let's go higher. Here we have one kilohertz amplified. So um, let's see what that can bring. Here. Pure sine wave, by the way. The scope is now on 10 volts here. Here, 10 volts. Let's try to lift up the, the voltage. What? Anyway. Well, this is perhaps not a good demo. But I've tested it all over and over. I'm not going to make a new video. Perhaps I have, uh, say, four minutes to make it more convincing. Anyway. This is how it really works. Uh, this is C. <coughs> High frequency in the order of 10 kilohertz. We, you can read here that it is uh, 10, 20, 30, 40 volts. <sighs> Let's lift up the amplification of this amplifier. So here it's overdriven and this is say the maximum voltage that it can give out on that frequency. It is say 10, 20, 30, 50, 40, <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 volts. <laughs> that was a glitch. Anyway, so uh, 75 volts is say the general output of this schematic this amplifier so uh, I tested it all over and over when you want to know more here are say the best test specifications Sin, I've uh, amplified sine wave, square wave, you can see up to 20 hertz, there's no amplification. From 20 hertz it is 10 times and it goes up to say 1 mega cycles when we are talking about sine waves, amplified sine waves. Uh, the output voltage is smaller, say 40 volts. Here it is 75 volts. In general, it is 75 volts, and the maximum output voltage is 80 volts. But with square waves, we have another situation and um, distorted square waves. It starts to function properly on 5 kilo cycles, up to 200 kilo cycles. And when you go to higher frequencies, when you put in a square wave into an amplifier, 
you will surely know when you have done some experiments and know something about uh, how this all works that the square wave will change into a triangle wave when the amplifier is not ideal and this amplifier is of course a hobby amplifier it's not ideal but anyway it works very very nice for the say basic properties basic ideas of testing testing uh, circuits etc so uh, a very long video i did not want to make it so long so finally the schematic thanks for watching merry christmas